In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a print then cut image as a PDF so that you can print it at a Staples or an Office Max or a local print place. So I have my design already set up and flattened, so I'm going to go to make it. And you're going to see it. So if you want, I know that I already printed these myself. So I know that three will fit on a page. However many you want to fit on a page, make sure you have that all set up before you export it to PDF. Uh, that way you have it exactly how you want it. So I'm going to press continue. And then I'm going to select send to printer. So right here, it says Nitro PDF Creator. Don't use that one. You want to make sure that you go down Microsoft Print to PDF. Then you're going to select Print. And it's going to pop up to have you save the file. Since I already saved this, I'm just going to make up a file name and save it quickly for you guys. And I'm going to show you how to upload it to Office Max because that's what I have close, but it's a similar process to staples. So RSVP card is what I'm going to write, save it, and then I'm going to go over here, print and copy, um, copies and flyers. Now just depending on what you want to do, it will um, it'll be a little bit different. So you can also save your file to a hard drive or an external jump drive and just take it to your local store, whatever, it's up to you. So I'm going to go select my device, I saved it to documents, so I'm going to go to RSVP card, PDF, it's going to upload it. Now you can choose really any type of paper that you want, but I always use cardstock because I know my Cricut will cut that well. So I'm going to keep the size, you can choose color or black and white, single sided, um, and then you can just go down here and I choose... Um, cardstock standard whites. If you have the maker, you can pick a lighter color, but if you only have an explore machine, you'll have to pick white. And I do the 65 pound because, again, I know that my Cricut will cut that on light cardstock. And then you can add it to your cart, and then you can pick up in store, or you can have it shipped to you, or like I said, you can take your design right to your local Staples, your local Office Max, I do FedEx, Kinko's, whatever. Um, and just have it printed and when you come home uh, you'll just um, pull your file back up and you can go here if you already have it set up or we'll go back so I can see and just to cut it we'll make it again I had three so you have to make sure I set it up exactly the same way so that it will cut correctly you can go to continue and then you can select right over here I've already printed and then you can select your light cardstock, load it, and it will cut it, and you're good to go.